at well over 2 meters long, with a 1,555 mm wheelbase and weighing a hefty 256 kg, not far short of a Honda VFR 1200. The Metropolis doesn't sound like the obvious choice for convenient urban transport. But it is. The sheer length might be a handicap when the gaps are really tight, but it is narrow enough to filter past traffic views, and most of that weight, including engine, transmission, luggage and fuel, is carried fairly low. Add in a low 780mm seat, and you have a big machine that's actually quite easy to just hop on and ride. You sit upright on the Metropolis and it doesn't offer the space of a feet-forward maxi scooter like the Suzuki Bergman, but it's comfortable nonetheless. Last year I rode a Metropolis 700 miles across France in a day and a half without feeling knackered when I got to Nice. It cruised at 80 to 90 miles per hour on the autoroute and took myself and a wife home again with a pile of luggage, so although the Metropolis might be classed as a scooter it can do distance as well. Power pickup and delivery is beautifully smooth. It hasn't got the eco and power modes of the current MP3, but it is alright without them, offering linear power from very low speeds. Twist the grip right back and it pricks up its skirts and heads for the horizon. With this much weight to haul around, it's surprisingly quick.